Three, this is where we build a transaction table between drag and data and food. Uh, as previously mentioned folks, we, I said there's a many to many between drag and data and food. So what we need to do is we need to make a brand new table, which is what you're going to do. So we're going to go to create. And because you are good database designers, or you're going to be good database designers, I don't want to be using uh, table wizards or anything like that. We're going to create from a table design. Okay. And what we have to remember is what's really important is that you have to remember the key fields from the source tables. In this one, it's dragon name and that one's food. And it's imperative that you also uh, copy the data type and the data size. So quickly, if we go into dragon name here, it says short text and 25. I'm happy with that. Food, short text and 40. So I've got to remember that, okay? Short text, 25, short, uh, okay. In here, we're going to type in field name, dragon name. Data type was short text. What was the size? 25. If I left that as 255, the database will still work, but you'll lose marks, okay? Because you have to be an efficient database designer. Okay, and the other one was food, and that was short text and 40. And now the trick is we have to make them what we call a combined key field. To make them combined key fields, we do this. We make sure our arrow changes to the right like that, highlight both of the things we want to make combine key field, and then uh, in design, there should be a thing called primary key, and they should now be turned that. Now, can I please get you all to concentrate on this? In a source table, when you have primary key, one primary key, like student ID, um, etc. expert ID, that the ID, that one field is unique. When you've, when you've got a combined key field, it's actually a combination of the two that are unique. So when we type in um, uh, amber light and eats rabbits, then if we try to put it, uh, type in amber light and rabbits again, it won't let me do it because the combination is unique. And that's really nifty because we don't, we, only, we know, already know that this dragon eats this. We don't need to repeat it. And that's what makes a relational da database really efficient. Okay. Now, when we close this by doing this, it will ask us what name do we want to call it? Say yes. If, if there's a name that's obvious that you can use, use it. If you, don't, if you can't think of a name, then use the combination of both the, uh, the field, uh, tables. For example, we've got dragon and food. We could call it dragon food, okay? But a good table name for this would be diet, the diet of a particular dragon. So I'm going to go for diet. Okay, now what we have to do is build the relationship to that table. If you have a look here, it's not there. We have to get it there. Remember which button we love, we kiss, we hug? The right hand button. So right hand button, anywhere inside here, and click on show table. And then put the diet table in. Put it where the link is going to go. And what's extremely important is this, is that you must drag from the one to the many. Now there's a one to many from the dragon data to the diet, and there's a one to many from the food to the diet. But what's really important is that you must drag from the common field to the other common field. In other words, don't drag from dragon name to food. It's got to go from dragon name over the top of dragon name and then release. If you don't do this in force referential integrity, it will mean it will allow you to make mistakes. This, if you don't do this, that's for crappy year 10 or crappy database designers. If you leave that off like that, it will mean that you can make mistakes. You're a good database designer, or you will be, so you will always enforce referential integrity. 
If you don't do that, it won't bounce when you do more than one and all that sort of stuff. So we're going to create. And now that's built a one to many that way. A transaction table, folks, always, always has the many at the transaction table. Drag from the one from food to the food over the diet. Enforce referential integrity, create. We have now created the transaction table that will make that work. I'm going to stop video, what were we up to? Three. I'm going to stop video three to make sure everyone's up to speed. I looked at Damon just a while back and I thought he was having problems. It's okay. I'm just whispering to myself. <laughs>